Hello everyone, I'm Rosemary Wilmington, contemporary South Australian artist and I'm here today to show you my online exhibition that I've prepared for this year's South Australian Festival of Living Artists. I'm down uh, in my uh, studio and offset into my garage to be able to film this on a gallery wall because this year I have a virtual online uh, exhibition. I call the exhibition Escape with Colour and the reason for that is that as you can see behind me these are four of my selected paintings that I'm going to show you today. They are very rich in saturated uh, colours uh, with a vibrancy um, that you know is obvious when you when you have a closer look at them. The reason uh, that I chose Escape with Colour is because in the last few years I've been focusing more and more on saturated colours and how they might work within my abstract paintings and my semi-abstract landscape paintings. You'll see some of my semi-abstract landscape paintings a little later. But first of all, let's have a look at these paintings. Escape with Colour. This came to mind because during the winter months we are also locked in with the gloom of the colder weather and the grey skies. But as well as that, with COVID, we have been locked in. And for me, colour is one way in which I escape through my art. It gives me a sense of freedom uh, in the creation of my paintings. So without any more ado, um, I shall take us over to have a look at these paintings in slightly more detail and talk a little bit about them for you. First, let's focus on this painting behind me, which is titled Red Rush. Uh, and this is largely, the title is largely because of the impact of red. Each of the colours that I've selected have and are known to have an impact on the human condition. Uh, red is noted for its connection to passion, to romance, and we do know that restaurants often use it within their restaurants to encourage us to eat delicious food. So this painting has an intense uh, red colour in it, but it's also got undertones of, um, you can see here, the oranges with uh, mark making and scratching behind it. It's off, offset a little by these white lines here and uh, it's structured as a way that so that your eye moves around the painting but still gives heaps of space within the painting so that you feel like you can just sort of gaze into it which is really the feeling I want to achieve which is how do people uh, have space to look into a painting to enliven them to have an impact for them to respond uh, I'm not so crowded that you're busy in your head but you're more moving into your emotional space so that's red rush it's hundred about 101 by 91 uh, centimeters um, and uh, yeah that's Red Rush. This painting behind me is called uh, Saffron Days and uh, the Saffron Days is um, um, because of the colour, it's a beautiful saffron colour, uh, but as well as a sense of light. So when hanging in a room, the light comes through and actually illuminates you. So you get quite an illuminated experience from the painting. Uh, there's quite a lot of line work again on this and scratching through as you might be able to see. Uh, we can move in perhaps a little closer, it's not so easy, but you can start seeing uh, the scratching and the work down here, which makes a painting quite, uh, quite intricate and uh, interesting as you move closer with mixed media and pencil marks. As well, of course, here we have the white, which offsets the yellow slightly and helps to keep it in that illuminated colour. Again, this painting is uh, 100 and about 101 by 91 centimetres, so a reasonable, moderate, medium-sized painting. And uh, it is a, is a painting that gives off a fantastic glow. So that's, uh, that's Saffron Jeez. Days. This painting behind me here is called Person and Flesh. Uh, and uh, there are several reasons for, for giving it that name. Uh, one of them was, well, obviously it's a very persimmon colour. If you've seen persimmons when they're in fully ripe, they have this gorgeous orangey, a smooth, fleshy colour. 
uh, the flesh is the same color as the skin and uh, so thus persimmon flesh but in addition to that the lines and so forth that are in this painting that you can see here are very uh, are very fleshy they look like um, the human body the curves of the human body around this way <laughs> of curves of the human body uh, and uh, so you know the fleshy thing then starts um, kind of merging into this sort of figurative kind of underpinning of it um, once again it's a mixed media uh, painting it has line line work through it, pencil work uh, you know and uh, pastels as well in there so that's persimmon flesh Thinking behind me now is called spicy tagine and like persimmon flesh it's 91 times 91 centimeters so it's slightly smaller uh, again, uh, you know, I use uh, intuitive um, painting. I'm an intuitive artist, so I start painting with the colour and keep moving through it and, and um, uh, finding the shapes, forms and lines that are going to create a feeling that I'm, I'm uh, wanting uh, to express. Uh, in this painting, we have mixed media again. We have uh, some pastel here. Uh, and um, a line work that is done both through um, made implements, handmade implements, um, and uh, the colour is very much that kind of uh, colour you do see in a tagine or something where saffron is used, but also where you have a lovely um, mellow uh, flavour coming from spices uh, and, and a look. And here, you know, to me, we have almost have the aubergine up there. So you have this kind of feeling that this is a pot in which this spicy aubergine is. Um, and so again, this painting is 91 by 91 about. Um, and again, escape with colour. So here's a colour, but also the reference to food and spicy tagine, uh, and uh, you know that uh, we see from Rockin and um, style foods and places that I've been and travelled in, where again I've escaped through travel. This painting uh, in front of you now is uh, called Beyond Blue Nights. And as you can see, it has a range of intense blue colours as its background uh, with overlays of uh, yellow, some pinks, white uh, and uh, some drips along with line marks. As we move in closer, you start picking up on some of the marks that are in this painting and the intensity of the colour. There's purple in there as well. Um, and you can see the pink through there. Now, the lines on this painting, uh, especially up the top and in the middle, give you once again this sense of this could be a portal uh, beyond uh, Blue Nights. Having painted it and created this intense blue painting, it really made me recall some nights I had in Morocco peering out into this amazing blue sky and got me thinking about what more was beyond uh, blue nights, skies. Um, so uh, thus I called it Beyond Blue Nights. Uh, this painting is 101 again by 91 uh, centimetres. This pink painting in front of you is called Whale Song. And if you look in the bottom right hand corner, you'll see uh, a very abstract profile of a whale. Uh, it's called Whale Song uh, because I'm very conscious of the environment and really the environmental changes and the global warming that are occurring uh, that will affect whales and all our, our, our sea life. And the whales are really just uh, our emblem of, um, what, uh, of life in the sea. Uh, the colour is a, a, a nice pink with a grey undertone. 
um, and the various shapes within it and line marks are abstracted, um, painted intuitively uh, to create again a sense of space around this painting um, and in the centre to the left you will see a shape which looks a little like a viking boat um, and is again connected to the sea and to uh, how we as humans have really moved across the sea and hunted animals uh, within it. So it's a very pink painting, it's a lovely colour, it's a vibrant colour, it has touches of orange, uh, as you can see a bit closer, you know, mark making lines and movement within it. Uh, and uh, it's 91, uh, roughly 91 by 91 centimetres as a painting. That's Whale Both Song. Both these paintings, Beyond Blue Night and Whale Song, have been largely painted with acrylic paints, with um, pencils, pastels, of various mixed media added to make layers along with scratching and line to create um, some, in, some depth within these paintings. So what you have to do is to check out my website where you will see all the details of the paintings, you'll be able to look at them more closely, uh, the ones that I've selected, and that will give you the whole range of the exhibition uh, and details about their availability and their price. So that means they're available to you. So I look forward to hearing your comments about how you enjoy uh, my exhibition.